Hello and welcome to another episode of Create Now. We're going to do a little bit of singing. More burbles. Make sure you're resonating properly. Into your nose, so your stump comes out. Keep your hand on your stump if you can. Back down. Here's some money. Um. <laughs> it doesn't move, there's no air coming out. I don't know. Yeah. It's breath control. So it's breath compression. You're letting out very little air. Because um, you know if you're holding your breath, um, if you let it all out at once, you start to panic. As you get closer to the break, your volume will start to go up. Um, so you got to ease off on the volume as you get closer to the break. And as you go up, higher. Um, because a lot of people, once again, louder, they also go up in pitch. And uh, the more up in pitch they go, they also get louder and so on. It's just fuck. And they, they don't know why they blew their voice out and so on. It's, we've all been there. It's fine. It's just ground pains. Alright, here's a bit D sharp. you can sing for so long, alright? This here is E major. You gotta do this. Every, this is like the first thing you do. Uh, make sure the sounds coming out properly out through the mouth and not through the fucking nose and all sorts of places. So if you want to sing through your nose, I would say it's fine. It's nice to know uh, to not be trapped just into one single style. Just because different parts of the song, different timbres, different timbre timbres. Who knows? Let's find out. Uh, right. E. Oh, 
constantly check in with your throat and see if there's any tension there. Keep supping your water, ideally room temperature water. And it's no good just down in the whole thing. That's no good. You got to constantly keep it uh, wet. What's the right word? Hydrated. Because you're blowing air past. Uh, you're blowing air past your th throat or whatever it is. I can't remember. <laughs> and uh, every time you blow air past it, the water's been blown off. So it gets dehydrated. And once it gets dehydrated, it's like having no oil. And it's just like rubbing rubbing your hands gets a grind and, and then you get all these kind of polyps which is like kind of little warty things wart pimply growths on your th throat and all that's from like fucking you need them all just like calluses on your on your uh, on your hands you know when you're pulling rope and shit and you get all this fucking growths and fucking nasty shit and they can fuck up your you can get like fucking this thing called glottal stops and people it's rumoured it goes to throat cancer I don't know if it actually goes to throat cancer and all that stuff but you know, you hear, you hear, you be hearing things. So ideally, just sup away at the water. Just little sups. And don't force the voice. It's very, very, you know, when you're getting emotional, maybe you've had a drink or whatever, you just want to belt it out. And you wake up the next day and oh, jeez, what was I doing last night? Uh, <laughs> you, d you lose all perception of how loud you are, especially if you're drinking or in a loud environment um, or for tea um, now some people say you know do not be drinking coffee do not be eating bananas do not be eating chocolate do not be doing hard drugs do not be uh, eating takeaways or whatever you <laughs> say um, but from all my studies the, pe the people people that can do all these abusive things to their body and so on and get away with it but you ha they, they have they practice singing a lot it's doing stuff like not drinking coffee will improve your vocal tone by this I'm just making shit up here I say 2% but the psychological um, negatives of uh, not being the human being in a comfortable state, the psychological aspects could have all sorts of detrimental effects, like if they're not feeling um, themselves because they're used to a cup of coffee, um, could lower self esteem, could have in fact effect to the. Um, a lot of singing is just mental. And. Um, um, you know, if you're nervous, there's a, a quiver in your voice. If you're more confident, it can go lower. You're like, listen, this is the way it is. As opposed to, this is the way it is? Kinda. Uh, very insecure question, of, like, ah, high voice, or else, this is how it's done. <laughs> Two different vocal tones different all sorts of different stuff so um it gives off all sorts of cues and subtle cues subconscious and so on so in an ideal world yes you wouldn't have eggs you wouldn't be eating eggs and you wouldn't be smoking your cigarette or whatever you're into but uh i've witnessed world-class performances by opera singers and they have eggs first thing in the morning and they have a few cigarettes before they go on stage and I'm just like how are these lads getting away with it but they went to Italy they studied with uh, what are they called maestros they call them <laughs> uh, in Italy they have uh, like singing academies where you just go there learn with monks or whatever <laughs> um, but yeah um, if you can imagine it, like, it's just like Anton, if you're really, really, really good, it doesn't matter if you're having a bad day, you're still going to be really fucking good, like, because your level is, is that good? Jesus. Uh, so there you are. No, no. Vo 
vocal help uh, warming up. You can even do it by you wake up first thing in the morning, you play, play whatever songs you like, and just hum along. And then after your breakfast, you start going, change that to oohs and ahs and so on. Um, um, watch your look. Again, the reason we're doing this is for uh, stretch the voice, grow the voice. Going up and down these scales really improves your pitch intonation. So instead of hitting, here's here's the, but you might be hitting, you might be hitting a bit, you might be going, <laughs> you might be hitting any of the notes around D. So that's control. Uh, and it all comes from the diaphragm. Breathing correctly. Uh, and so on. Making sure the it all, vocal tone comes from letting it come out properly. And you can uh, shape the tone once you have the engine coming out, all the air coming out. Keep moving. That's just good because it's good to hear, you know. You hear training. you'll find it a lot more easier. Uh, I did, didn't come naturally to me. Watch your look. Boo-hoo. Uh, <laughs> a major. Remember you can use your hand to you take the weight off the cheeks. psychology in, in singing um, a lot of people say including myself it doesn't really it's all about acting it doesn't a lot of it's conveying emotion Eve, it doesn't really matter if it's in tune or not like a lot of people can't tell if something's in tune or not 
Um, yeah. Even if people are listening to music, the thing they're listening to most is the voice. Just as regards the general population. I know if you're a guitar player, you might be like, oh yeah, listen to that guitar. Mm, yeah. But uh, who goes around singing fucking the hi hats? <laughs> Or, or that <laughs> or like uh, it's just the voice man people don't got run down the street singing bass drums <laughs> or singing hi hats Um, I'll say like I'll I'll go, happily go down the road singing high hats all day long, but as regards your everyday consumer slash three year old or old man or whatever, it's just like just has it on the background noise. You can learn to it for the storytelling, or you can you got to make sure your voice matches up with the story being told. That's only if you want. It's only one way of doing it, but that's definitely traditional. Who knows, who knows, who knows. Alright, so now we're in... We're in the land of A sharp. A sharp again. So some of you might be singing here. Some of you might be singing here. Some of you might be singing here or here, but it's all the same note, just different octaves. Somewhere, somewhere, way. different octaves, okay? And down. So um when you push when you don't have enough air you go flat when you have too much air you go sharp so breath control is very 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 important um that's so important breath control I'm so jealous of fucking people who are born who are like fucking either just kids because they automatically sing right I was like flip <laughs> I didn't learn how to sing right until I was like my 20s or something and even now I have to be like right am I singing right <laughs> It's just different vocal timbres, really. Doesn't matter. Alright. Alright, back to C. So, what I was talking about there was. That's, um, if you just go to any piano, and just go up. Or even a guitar, just go up one fret, up the next fret. And so on. Um, you can just sing along. You can also do it uh, without a piano. 
so that would be as up semi tone. Up one semi are big into like peppermint tea uh oh, drinking honey it's all even special types of honey and so on but listen it doesn't it only doesn't you can get into all this stuff buy all the thing in books watch all my videos do whatever you want but it's just down to practicing and listening to yourself it's one thing practicing <laughs> have you ever listened to someone singing to, into their headphones and you're saying fuck they sound so bad because they're not listening to themselves they're enjoying the act of singing, but they're not listening to their own pitch. Uh, but just if you want to get into the performing route, it's very important to, to listen to yourself without anything. Listen to your voice being naked, getting naked, getting naked. Oh yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Really, really listen to yourself. Just singing in a room. The singer of My Chemical Romance is big into this. Before he recorded the um, the Pearl Black Parade, he a lot of people thought he wasn't a very good singer and so on. And his producer told him just to hide out in an attic and just practice singing all the time. Um, and it, it, the vocal performance really and um, really really good. Um, I think he said something to his producer, like, oh, we'll just auto-tune or something. It's like pitch correction software. And that takes away a lot of the personality, because it tunes everything. And sometimes you don't want something, it's, it conveys a lot more emotion. <coughs> Messiness can convey a lot more emotion than a... Like, this is a lovely chord, but it doesn't convey anger very well, does it? But if you're like... <coughs> Bit, a bit more messy it conveys anger and angst and uh, if you've listened to any of the new uh, Kanye West tracks he has a lot of screaming and they're like Rah! like even uh, he has his daughter screaming and so on because it's so emotional um, if you listen to cats they only uh, a cat has an incredibly wide vocal range um, <laughs> And uh, I can't, yeah. I can't do them all. Growls, spits, everything. But it only goes or whatever for us, and it talks to everyone else. Uh, all the little cats make all those spits and things. So um, I'm so expressive, like um, if you're only using your voice for singing in tune, that's like only using your voice for saying meow, isn't it? They use their cats use their lovely meow. Meow, which is your lovely singing voice. Hello, how are you today? But uh, for emotion, if you want to be like, listen, you look like you have the coronavirus. Get away from me. Or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> you got it's. You can't be doing. Look like you got the coronavirus, baby. You gotta be like. Get there on my driveway. Get out of my driveway now. <laughs> yeah, uh, just convey emotion. It's all about conveying emotion. A lot of time people get so caught up with is the not tune, in tune, not in tune. The emotion gets lost and then no one really knows why they're listening to the music. All the, all the emotion's taken out of it and it's perfect, but... That's perfect, but it's interesting, like, you know what I mean? Uh... And even when you ask people, like, what, oh, what, uh, like, what do you think of pop music? They say, oh, it all sounds the same. It's too polished. It's too, too all these things, you know. And um, people yearn for all those tonal qualities. Uh, I'll think of the cat as well. The cat hides all those sounds from you. It only uses the meow. 
but has all the full range of expression, fucking, I want to mate with you, or get off my property, I'm going to fight you, or I'm so cozy right now, I'm ready to go to sleep, I'm purring, full range. A lot of people only involve uh, singing, and what's all this, screams, there's the sex noises, like heavy breathing, like, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> all this stuff is big in me. If you listen to music, uh, you can hear all that stuff and stuff down really low. And it's like it's especially in stuff like uh, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, Britney Spears, uh, Katy Perry. Yeah, so looking at me. A lot of it is kind of like that, like sex whimpering, the high voice where they can't even catch their breath because they're like so. Uh, was it in ecstasy or so on um, so a lot of the voices and sound things they use are actually subconsciously triggering sex acts and or else subconsciously triggering um, for example uh, there's a famous metal producer that made um, his his uh, his first recording album he made the, guy, the track was he was singing all oh, lovely like oh I love me- singing metal yeah I love singing metal and the producer was like this is metal man it's not it's not it's, you're not singing nursery rhymes here. So he made him run around the block because it was about his deteriorating mental health or something. So he made him run around the block loud so he couldn't fucking uh, couldn't fucking think and then he was just like Roar, I don't like you. <laughs> Roar. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's just very interesting. Uh, conveying emotion. It's one thing singing in tune, it's way more important to convey an emotion, making people feel something. Because that's said the main complaint people have about modern music is they could, they say it's too polished, it's too clean, and uh, there's too much auto tune. Um, and what is that saying? It's saying people want to hear those imperfections in the human voice. Um, they don't want to do the whole sound like a robot. Let robots sound like robots if they want to. Like, um, should I listen, do I have a little vocoder thing in my phone? Here? Um, it sounds very unnatural. It's not natural for people to be singing perfectly in tune, because it, it, that's why it takes uh, years of practice and so on. Like it's, it doesn't really occur in the natural world-ish. So that's why it can feel so unauthentic. Authent- humans are big into authenticness, and if you use auto tune, it can take away that authenticness and make stuff feel fake um, and that's great it's just what is the context what is the context so conveying emotion um, a lot of it is acting um, it's it's kind of like in, in uh, an open secret uh, there's a film called uh, Jack Black and I call Rock Rock School or School of Rock or something, and all the all the the actors in it uh, are you know kids and something, but none of them were actually actors. They were all musicians, uh, really really good musicians because they figured out that uh, if you're a good musician, you used to you know you have to perform in front of a lot of people live and stuff. It's a bit like Sasha Baron Cohen, like, and then when they actually have to, they're so used to doing it in real life and having real danger that when it's like a closed set, uh, it almost seems like a doddle. It's like, come on, I'm used to performing live in front of loads of people, and you're telling me like we get to do fifty takes and pick the best one. Like this seems, this is easy. So when you get live performers going out to camera, sometimes you're just like, man, it's like a bodybuilder being asked to like lift baby weights or something, you're just like, come on, man, is this it? Is it that? And all the other actors are there, like, fucking shitting themselves, being like, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, if you listen, um, acting, acting and voice are very, very similar. Uh, a lot of actors do voice lessons, and maybe not enough singers do acting lessons, perhaps. Successful singers generally have very high emotional intelligence, um, even if they have a, a reputation for being too uh, socially uh, awake or too sensitive. Alright, so 
that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the f- philosophical side. Um, I guess it's all about singing with emotion, isn't it? It's one thing singing in pitch. Give it a go, but don't forget what it's all about. It's about conveying emotion. Alright, that's it. Have a great day.